Well, good um, afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Anthony. I'm a student here at the Brisbane Truck School, uh, currently undertaking the forklift um, training. Uh, I'll be taking you through the assessment operation booklet. So, first question How many days do you have after passing your assessment to apply for your high risk work license? And it's 60 days. Next question What do you have to do if your high risk work license has not been renewed within the 12 months of its expiry? And the answer is retrain and sit an assessment with a registered training organisation as you cannot renew. Do you have to renew? Next question. Do you have to renew your license? Yes. How often? Every five years and online at the Workplace Health and Safety Queensland website. Next question. Pre-occupational checks, walk around, are required to be carried out on a forklift truck before getting on to operate list nine. One, no visible damage. Forklift or attachments, under machine for the oil leaks, your mast, your hydraulic rams, hoses, data plate, oils, and battery. Next question. Post startup checks. List six checks you conduct after your seatbelt is on and the engine is started. The gauges, lights, horn, reverse beeper, steering, and brakes. Next question. On conducting a pre-start check, you find the data plate is missing or unreadable. What should you do? Stop, tag out of service, and report. List, next question, list five checks you should do on your tires and wheels on a forklift. Air pressure is not correct. Tires not worn down below the wear indicator. Tires not securely fitted to the rims. Chunks missing from the rubber tires. And the tire wear is uneven. Next question, list three guards fitted to a forklift and what do they protect? The overhead guard protects the operator from falling objects, the foot guard protects the feet and the load guard stops the load hitting the mast and protects the operator. Next question, why is it unsafe to refuel while the engine is running? The fuel could ignite. Next question, keeping air filled tyres at correct pressure is important, why is this so? To maintain stability and safety of the forklift. Next question, if your view is obstructed while driving the forklift, what are four things you could do before you move? Check the pathway is clear, travel in reverse, use a spotter, and restack the load. Next question. Why should you why should the load movement be watched when moving the forklift? Stability of the load and safety to people. Next question. Why is it unsafe to turn a forklift on a ramp or sloping surface? And provide two reasons. Could result in the forklift tipping over and losing your load. Explain what a hazard is. Sorry, next question. What Explain what a hazard is. A thing or situation with potential to cause harm or damage. Next question. Explain what a risk is. The chance of a hazard causing harm or damage. Next question. What three penalties can the Workplace Health and Safety Regulator apply if you fail to work safely when doing high risk work? Your license could be suspended, cancelled, and they could refuse to renew your license. Next question. List 12 site hazards 
you need to consider and plan for in the workplace before starting forklift operations. Power lines, trees, overhead services, awnings, roller doors, bridges, buildings, vehicles, plant and equipment, pedestrians, ground conditions, and poor lighting. Next question. List three things that an employer must do to ensure the health and safety of all employees. Provide safe plant and equipment. Provide safe work, provide safe systems of work and provide adequate facilities. Next question. List four workplace health and safety information documents that you can obtain. The code of practice, Australian standards, regulations and legislation Carl next question list three people you would discuss with about workplace hazards before you start work and explain why other workers your supervisor and your safety officer why so you know workplace policies and procedures for safety Next question. Before commencing work, what are the eight things you need to consider and plan for other than previously stated site hazards when planning the task? Permits, location, access, communication, egress, skills, as well as PPE and licenses or places as the acronym. Next question. When carrying out high risk work as an employee slash worker, you have a legislated duty of care. List four responsibilities that this implies. Make sure of your own health. Don't put any others in danger. Keep others safe and comply with relevant WHS regulations. Next question. Having just completed a course and obtained your high risk work license, list four things your employer must provide to you before operating unfamiliar equipment. Information, training, instruction and supervision. Next question. What are minimum safe distances you must maintain when working on a forklift near power lines in Queensland? Up to 132,000 volts, three meters. Between 132,000 and 330,000 is six meters. Above 330,000 volts is eight meters. Next question. How do you find out the voltage of overhead power lines? You check with your local electrical authority, which in Queensland is Energex. List five, next question, list five visual indicators used to identify power lines. Your tiger tails, marker balls, warning and danger signs, colored marker flags, and painted power poles. Next question. List the five steps you should take if the forklift you are operating comes into contact with power lines. Warn others to stay clear. Attempt to break contact with the lines. Stay in the machine if it is safe. If you must leave the machine, you must jump clear without touching the forklift and shuffle away eight meters. Report to your authorized person and check before reusing the machine. Next question. What can passenger, when can passengers ride on a forklift? Only if the forklift has been designed with a seat to carry more than one person. Next question. List the six safety control measures that can be used 
to protect pedestrians, other workers, vehicles, or mobile plant. A traffic controller or stop and go person. A hazard lights, signs, barriers, exclusion zones, and traffic management plan. Next question, what equipment is required to operate a forklift in dark areas or at night? Adequate lighting. Next question, what are four ways you can communicate with other workers on site? Verbal, written, signs, and hand signals. Next question, if a co-worker gives you a, single, a signal which is not clear to you, what should you do? Stop and seek clarification. Next question. How can, you, how can finding out the weather forecast help to plan tasks, especially in relation to outside work? Prepare for suitable risk controls. Plan the work environment. And schedule work activities. Next question. List four weather related hazards that can impact forklift operations. Heat, smoke, snow and or ice, and slippery. Next question. When operating a forklift on wet or slippery surfaces, what are two ways you can operate safely and stay safe you can reduce your speed no hard braking and drive cautiously next question raising or lowering a load near or over people is not allowed why is that there is a risk of injury or death next question internal combustion engines such as petrol gas and diesel produce dangerous gases, carbon monoxide. Why don't we use them in restricted spaces? Because your fumes could kill. What type of forklift do you use in restricted spaces with minimal airflow? Electric. Next question. When charging batteries, why should they be charged in a well ventilated area? It is because the batteries give off dangerous gases and could explode. Next question. When using the forklift, why is the rear end swing dangerous? Because of rapid sideways movement can cause injury to persons or damage to property. Next question. If you need to move up a load, Move a load up or down a ramp. What directions must the load face? It must face uphill. Next question. If the forklift starts to roll over sideways, what two things should you do? You should remain in the forklift and do not jump out. And you brace yourself until stationary by holding the steering wheel tight. Next question, what are six actions that may cause a forklift truck to tip over sideways? Unsafe speed and turning, uneven surfaces, uneven load, a flat tire, driving too fast, turning with a load too high, side shift not centered, Turning on a slope. Next question. List six actions that might cause a forklift truck to tip over frontwards or backwards when moving. It could be overloaded, hard braking, the mast could be tilted forward, load not hard against the heel of fork arm, driving too fast, Forward down a slope, uneven surfaces, 
and the mast too high going through opening or doorway next question what important role does the seat belt perform on a forklift it will stop you from falling out in an accident next question to maintain stability of the forklift and the load a side shift attachment should always be centered before traveling with a load next question when moving a forklift with or without a load what is the safe height to carry the load at at axle height or as low as possible next question operating a forklift with a raised with raised in a straight line or turning is dangerous why height can reduce your stability next question carrying a load on only one fork arm is unsafe why is this so your stability may be reduced it may damage the forklift and you may lose the load next question if the load is not fully against the heel of the fork arm how will this affect the operation of the forklift the stability and capability is reduced next question list four ways the weight of a load can be found out consignment note or way bridge docket weighing the load on scales calculate the weight markings may appear on the load next question what is the most common load center of forklifts in australia it is 600 millimeters next question what is the name of the steel structure supplied for the gap between a truck and a loading dock these must be secured they are a dock plate or bridge plate next question where would you find the forklift and attachment rated capacity it's on your data plate next question how would you find out the correct way of fitting any attachment to the forklift refer to the manufacturer's instructions next question list five attachments that can be used on a forklift other than fork tines you could have a carpet spike a jib a work platform fork extensions and a drum clamp next question what effects do a jib attachment have on your forklift give three effects reduced load capacity increased center of gravity swinging load reduces stability St next question what could the effects of a on a forklift be after adding an attachment give two the capacity of a forklift will be reduced your load center distance lcd may increase next question what do you look for when stacking loads on top of each other a firm level surface heavy and or liquid bottom goods go at the bottom high loads may be unstable next question the point of balance your fulcrum is where on the forklift it is at the center of the front wheels where they where the tire comes into contact with the ground and pivots from next question list four things you would do if the forklift you are operating breaks down in any way you should stop operating lower the forks to the ground if possible tag out report to an, an authorized person and repair before reusing next question 
Where is it unsafe to park a forklift in the workplace? Provide seven areas. Doorways. Near fighting fighting equipment. On sloping surfaces. First aid stations. Walkways. Emergency exits and railway crossings. Next question. What is the normal parking procedure of a forklift? Lower the fork arms to the ground. Apply your park brake. Select neutral and remove the key. Next question. When leaving the forklift, why should you remove the key? To prevent unauthorized use. Next question. Indicate the load centered distance on the forklift pictured. And you do that by a triangle on the front wheel. Oh, sorry, that's the fulcrum. The load centered distance is halfway between the heel and the center of gravity on your load. Thank you for watching.